You know, as much as we love our family members, the idea of working with them every day may not be too appealing. However, Rob Wiles met a guy in Fountain City up in the eastern part of our state who always dreamed of working with his family. Here's how that dream unfolded. Y'all have any luck feeding the ducks? Not yet. Not yet? Yeah. They won't come over here? <laughs> well, you know, feeding ducks can be a hot and hungry business. Good thing the answer to that problem is right around the corner. See, we've got two clubs and sweet candy with the Waldorf dressing. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you all need anything else right now? I think we're good. Thank all you. right, good. Okay. Hope you all enjoy. Everybody enjoys the food at the Creamery Park Grill in Fountain City. Although the grill started out as a longtime dream of owner Jeffrey Patton to own an ice cream parlor, a dream he had since he was a kid growing up in Wisconsin. Just wanted to have an ice cream parlor. Mm -hmm. Something I always wanted to do. Would you have good memories of an ice cream parlor when you were a kid? Or? Oh, well, growing up in Milwaukee, there's one on every corner, it seems like, so it was just a, a natural. I always thought there was a brewery on every corner in Milwaukee. Well, there's a, there's a church, a brewery, <laughs> three, 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 three taverns, and an ice cream parlor. <laughs> well, they've got ice cream here for certain. We've got a after dinner mint, vanilla, butter pecan, praline pecan, strawberry, smoky mountain fudge, Irish cream cappuccino, cookies and cream, chocolate chip, banana pudding, lemon custard, chocolate, and peach. Which you can get in a dish straight up. All right, banana pudding, lemon custard. Thank you. You're welcome. Or mixed with other things to create desserts like peach amaretto shortcake. And then we put more blue blueberries, and then a piece of mint there. If you're going to have the Creamery's handmade ice creams, you might want to save some room, so... We uh, have a very large selection of gourmet salads. Uh, Tell me about those. They're, uh, that's probably what we've become known for. We've, had, we've got some uh, secret recipes for salad dressings and stuff, and uh, they just became a, a staple of our, of our menu. We just sell an awful lot of salads, and our seven layer salad is uh, sort of a house, house recipe, and that's our most popular salad. Seven layer salad? Mm-hmm. What, what would be in that? Well, it, uh, it starts with our secret homemade uh, dressing, which is sort of a mayonnaise parmesan type dressing, mm -hmm. and it involves around peas, uh, onions, tomatoes, cheese, and uh, you can get it either, either naked or with chicken. Naked? Well, without chicken, chicken with chicken or without chicken. <laughs> Oh sure, you can get just about anything here at the Creamery. To a full-blown menu of uh, everything from steak and shrimp, uh, pastas. So it's a, it's a varied menu, it's not overly large, but just enough to be, to be manageable and do everything good. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, the, if you can't find something in our menu, then you aren't hungry. Uh, people are hungry when they come to the Creamery in Fountain City, which is really part of Knoxville, but don't say that too loud around here. Well, Fountain City is a, it's a, it's a part of Knoxville. It used to be uh, uh, the largest unincorporated city in, in the country. Hmm. And the city of Knoxville annexed it back in the 60s. But if you ask people that live in Fountain City where they're from, they, they won't say Knoxville, they'll say Fountain City. Hmm. So it's, it's a community all by itself, and it, uh, it's basically built around the park and the lake. And that's uh, what they take pride in. Mm -hmm. Do you live in Fountain City? Sure do. Not Knoxville? Fountain City. <laughs> I go feed up. Just like the Fountain Cityans are proud of their community, Jeffrey Patton is very proud of having his family, including son Ben, working with him at the creamery. Well, I started working when I was 12 years old, when I entered the sixth grade. Uh, I started as an ice cream scooper and made my way up to, you know, where I am now. Now Ben does it all, along with the rest of the family. Well, family has its, uh, has its uh, up good and bad and ups and downs, uh, as my, my children will be able to tell you. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's all part of what I always envisioned of uh, a family business. You know, they're free to come and do whatever they want, and I encourage them to do something else if they'd rather do something else, you know. Because I can't do this the rest of my life, and, you know, they may have other interests, but they, they've been part of it, and they've helped, uh, helped to get to this point. The family feeling here is one reason customers flock to the creamery. They like the, the charm of the place. They like the, definitely the atmosphere and, uh, you know, the family service. It is a family restaurant. You get 
not just our family work, you know, helping you out, it's actually other families that stem from this place and I think that's where they, you know, they get, you know, what we are. It's not just the food, but just the appearance of the place and stuff. You know, it's just a one-of-a-kind place. The place that grew from an ice cream parlor to a full-blooded restaurant, the Creamery Park Grill in Fountain City.